A Jefferson City neighborhood prepares for the new St. Mary's Hospital and the problems they say come with its location. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jillian Furtick. Today, a room packed with residents met with city and hospital leaders to share their concerns with traffic and safety. Their neighborhood next to the hospital will provide a direct connection to the new facility, a connection they believe will be abused. ABC 17's Angel Mendez listened in on that meeting this morning. And Angel, the main message leaders gave is that it's too early to tell what will happen and what can be done. Jillian, leaders offered possible solutions to each concern, but yes, at this point, the issues brought up today are only speculation until the hospital officially opens up in November. Until then, City and St. Mary's Hospital plan to work with the neighborhood and make any changes as it needs. I don't believe that gate ought to be open. Our streets ain't big enough for that kind of traffic. We have kids that ride their bikes, they play ball, and I think the people ought to have something to say about it. That's our street. If you want to make it a commercial entrance to the hospital, Buy us out, you can do whatever you want with the street. But the gates will open soon. Today, it's quiet. I saw only one car drive by in 10 minutes on Yorktown Drive and Rolling Hills Road. Two recent traffic studies by the city show traffic is minimal and the majority of people drive the speed limit. Neighbors don't want that to change. Increased traffic brings what? More noise, more potential for accidents. More potential for crime. But both hospital and city leaders agreed it's too early to tell what might happen. They anticipate heavier use from the highway onto Mission Drive, but don't deny that drivers might try to cut through the neighborhood. What we would do is, in, in not unlike any other engineering problem, we'd analyze the problem and come up with a host of solutions. Solutions from speed humps to stop sign placement, but you first have to have a problem. But at this really point in time, we're speculating on the volume of traffic that's coming through the neighborhood. As being part of their neighborhood, I look forward to working with them to help mitigate their concerns. City leaders plan to do another traffic study of the area next April or May, and based on that, they will be able to compare it to studies presented today and make adjustments as needed. Jillian. All right, thanks a lot, Angel. Leaders have already made a few changes to prepare for heavier traffic. A Jefferson City police officer parks his car along the street in hopes of deterring any speeding. A neighbor says that officer started doing that about two weeks ago.